Good afternoon everyone. Today I wanted to do a quick review of this uh, Orion by NYX Watches. It's a field standard version of the Orion. The Orion mostly just refers to the case and then the field standard is the style of dial and hands. So this is a watch by the Microband Watches by Nick. He was originally known for doing cycle mods and now he's branched out into doing watches. He's got one dressier style dial in this, this uh, case and I know he's currently working on a dive watch. Uh, in a similar case, if not the exact same case. So, uh, he sent this, sent this watch in for review, and I wanted to thank him very much for doing that. It's incredibly generous, and I know all of us on the IWA forum wish him the very best with his uh, watchmaking. He definitely does some incredible work. This case design is incredibly unique. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the size. Um, it's a watch that could easily be worn by anyone just because it's a smaller case but it wears very bold so let's see we have a 38 and a half diameter with a longer lug to lug of 49 and change so 49 and then the thickness is a dive watch healthy sort of 13 and a half. So, uh, it wears as long as a turtle, as thick as a turtle, but with a diameter of, you know, like a, like the Alpinist, which I just did a review of. So, um, I think this is a watch that's great for people, especially uh, I'll review the case and then I'll review it as a field watch because I need to give justice to the case and like this line of watches and then I'll talk about my thoughts on this case with this dial as a field watch. So the case is, is very curved, very nice. Uh, this one has a, a sterile dial on the back, but that's or a sterile case back. Let me take off the NATO strap I had it on. Uh, but the production model will have some writing on the strap or on the case back. So. Solid case back. It's got a NH35A um, or NH35. I'm not sure what what letter designation they get, but uh, Seiko movement in here. Um, basically, the 4R36 movement without the day. And uh, it has all all of those all the watches with this case have that. It's got drilled lugs. It's got this really beefy, oversized, really kind of cool crown with these squared off crown guards. It's very smooth, incredibly smooth, uh, has a nice winding action. It's very easy to use. Easily, everyone I've talked to, including myself, favorite feature of this watch is this crown because it's very comfortable and easy to use. So, uh, it's got a, everything is high polish. I know that there are rumors and talks about him potentially doing some versions of some of these lines with blasted and DLC cases. Uh, it's got a sapphire crystal, as you can tell, it's got an incredibly generous helping of AR on it. Uh, it's got a dome, but it's a very gentle dome. Uh, and based on the distortion when you rotate it, I'm assuming it's a single dome sapphire. But um, most of his dials just say Orion, and they might have something in the bottom, but they're mostly pretty sterile dials, which I appreciate. So, as far as this case goes, I really love it. My only complaint about this case on its own merits, regardless of the function of the watch, is uh, I don't really love the purely high polished. I get why he does it, but I'm not like a big fan of purely high polished watches that are stainless steel. If I, I, I'm used to vintage watches that are, uh, if they're high polished, they're crumb, crumb plated brass. And I think chrome looks better polished. I don't think stainless steel has a very good look polished. Um, so that's that's my only really niggle. And the, the Sapphire, I'm not a big AR person. It's obnoxious to have this ghosting and the other AR, so I get why AR is important, but like if I'm just going to get the exact same glare I was going to get to begin with and then some ghosting, then I'd rather just have another, you know, no AR or, uh, you know, another type of crystal. I'm not a big Sapphire person. I'd rather have acrylic, honestly, because I can fix acrylic and polish it and replace it for, like, two bucks. Uh and it's, it's not as prone to uh, fragmenting along crystal lines like sapphire is so just just a personal preference but honestly as far as micro brands go i think this is one of the most unique and original ones from a young micro brand that i've ever seen 
and I'd highly recommend it. Um, as far as this is a field watch, so uh, I'm I am in the military and I use I use this watch for a couple days so far as far as for field purposes, uh, and I have uh, a few issues with it. It's a little it's very thick. Thirteen and a half mil for a field watch is just far far too thick in my opinion for a watch that's actually going to be worn in the field, just because it's real easy to bang around and if you're in tight spaces or you're crawling or you have to wear it for a long time it's pretty heavy uh, let's see what what it weighs um, let's see so it's 72 grams uh, just as an example my Hamilton military watch is uh, I think 30 grams so that's a, a vintage Hamilton military spec watch but uh, very very heavy. So basically, think of this watch as a field watch or the field watch in a diver case. So uh, it's very long lugged. So on my wrist, you can see it's, it's I have a six and three quarter -ish inch wrist, and it's it's just very long uh, for a, such a such a small case. Um, I definitely don't think a field watch should be polished. I think this is kind of a poor concept because especially since it's this tall, you're going to get all kinds of reflections peeking out from underneath your shirt. So. Uh, or your blouse cover on the wrist. Um, so that's just, I just, uh, I don't know. I like the drill lugs. I like the shape of the case. I just wish that it was, this is a rated at a 100 meters, but Nick's told me that this watch has is, is been tested to much, much farther than that. And this case would probably work as a diver, no problem. Um, so, um, excuse me. <coughs> but, the, uh, I just I just don't think it's necessarily the best case for a field watch. The dial, the nice part about the dial is the loom is is on the Arabic indices and the smaller 24-hour indices. The downsides, it seems like it's only a single layer of loom coating, and it really has almost no longevity. Uh, um, I've had watches, even even Hamilton watches with the dial has similar legibility uh, after like half an hour. Uh, the hands are excellent, more than adequate. They last through the night, no problem. Um, just the, the dial could use a few more coatings of loom. I do really love these. If I can get to focus stuff for this camera to focus on all this bright stuff. But you can see these applied indices along the outside, and they're they're beautiful. They're, you could stare at them for a very long time. You can tell this is work of someone who's you know done metal work in the past. So uh, I really love... The case, I don't really love it as a field watch, um, but I think it's an excellent sports watch case, and I look forward to seeing what Nick has, to, has coming up with it. And I'm definitely got this on the consideration list if, if this case is made into a diver, especially if it's slimmed down a little bit, because I know that there's rumor of that as well. So, um, to me, this is the Tudor Black Bay case of field watches. Uh, and the Black Bay case works great for the Black Bay and for dive watches, but for me, for a dress watch or for a field watch, it's just too big. Um, but like I said, I love what he's doing, and I, I definitely, uh, you know, if I wasn't actually using this as a field watch, I'd totally buy it because it looks incredible, and it's super durable, and the the guy behind the company is excellent. So uh, I'd say it's a mix review for me. But everyone else has been loving it so far, so it's probably just my personal preferences. So, thanks very much, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you in the comments.